look at my hat and match this guy. Everywhere I fucking go, everybody thinks I'm you. Everything. <laughs> On the last day of the Slayer tour, we're sitting in the parking lot in Denver. I had purchased a, r a really sharp machete. Apparently, he was walking off the bus with his big machete in his pocket, and it kind of, I don't know if he unlatched it or something happened, he spun it and it fell out and just almost severed his big toe. You'll see the surgery when we get there. But I think he was actually using it to clean his toenails. Random randiness. Yeah, buddy. Wait till you see this one. We went to the doctor, Dr. Buzz, believe it or not, that's his name. He stitched me up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty gnarly. You gotta have some battle scars every now and then. The shape. Just merely a flesh wound. <laughs> Perfect. I know I am normally a toe model. My career is shot now. <laughs> That's Randy for you. And on stage that night, I remember him saying, like, like Ozzy, Randy's like, I almost cut my toe off today, but I'm still here to rock for you guys. It was so ridiculous. I guess they figured out that if they don't respond, uh, it's no fun for me. You need a better gun. I just need uh, fewer morals because I'm, I'm about 30 feet away shooting at the wall against you, buddy. I could, I could walk in there and bless you. Doing some kind of promotional interview radio stuff for the new album. Clear channel. I haven't brushed my teeth today because I can't find my toothbrush. Randy cut his foot off. Let's go home. Clear channel, Monique, so you can not help you. We're waiting for someone. Mark it in. Randy. Randy. <laughs> it's the Mark and Andy show. Hey, it's it's the Different morning zoo with Mark and Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Pairs redneck on Full Metal Racket. That is off of Sacrament, which will be in stores tomorrow. Lamb of God in studio. We've got Mark and Randy. What's going on, fellas? Thanks for coming down and spending some time with us as we uh, debut Sacrament to the uh, listening population. Hello, Uncle Nasty. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Release day. It's, it's always a little weird. We're, you know, we're supposed to be a band, but we're, what we're doing is we're, we're not playing any music. I don't know. I guess you, everybody's going to play the game. Lord. First day hits, projected in the top ten. First week hits, and we we hit number eight in the Billboard top two hundred. Billboard top, you know, whoever, who cares? We hit number eight. It was it was bigger than than we even thought it could be ever. Hey, hey, you like my ride? <laughs> my sweet car. I drive around Long Island in this car. <laughs> Jay, our light guy, stops by with his Camaro. Campbell's giving him a hard time about his car. Jay's like, oh, you want to, you know, take it for a ride, take it for a ride? And Campbell's like, yeah, definitely. What they call Grand Theft Auto. Really, that thing was busted long before I got in the fucking seat. It's an automatic. Take it on the street, it'll burn out and smash right into the back of the van. Totally fucked his transmission. I thought it was giving a little <laughs> gas and then from neutral dropped it into the drive. <laughs> Yo, you like my fucking car? My car's whoop I I don't know if it was the... The, me the metal shavings of the transmission or Jay's insides falling apart, but it was a loud sound of very bad news for that car.
You can't say fuck shit, goddamn Jesus Christ, dickhead, bullshit, or asshole. And yeah, you started to mention Gigantor co-headlining with Megadeth. You can do it, Megadeth is featuring a group of fabulous Megadeth. Megadeth tour. I grew up listening to the Megadeth, so when we got that tour, it was it was awesome. We didn't expect it to be like the be all end all tour that we've ever done, and it was. Here we are again. You know, we just got done with Slayer, now we're on the road with Megadeth. It's like we made it, man. This is this is awesome. By far, the most influential band to me personally out of any of the established the metal act. He'll always be the guy that made me want to do this, so, you know, he can do whatever he wants. In my eyes, it's cool. My signature model guitar with Jackson is the Jackson Dominion. And, you know, every, every step of the way, um, you know, the, the upside was I was very involved in every piece and part of putting it together. The downside was there was a lot of trial and error for us to get it exactly where I wanted it to be. Just trying to figure out what size, width, shape, neck we're going to put on the guitar because so far we haven't got one dialed in yet that feels 100% comfortable. We've got a bunch that feel 100% uncomfortable. What's that one all about? <laughs> Yeah, this feels a lot better. I'm looking yeah, forward to seeing how they all dial in, and then we'll just we'll, we'll make a decision. But we're close, you know. Yeah, we'll talk soon. This guy we know, uh, Clay, he happens to have a lot of real guns. We went out to the desert, and uh, he had uh, pretty much an arsenal. I did not want to be in a position with these guys and guns in an open area. That just does not sound like fun at all to me. It's nice to go out and. and Use some real firepower, you know, bust off some rounds, blow off some steam, it's a good time. John's an excellent shot, I gotta give him that, man. He busted that watermelon wide open. Hey, John! See if you can hit this one! Woo! Nice shot, buddy! Not too bad myself. I remember he had a uh, Frankenstein. Alright, take a shot, go ahead! I laid waste to that thing, you know? Nice shot! So good! And it, and it was uh, kind of a dangerous setup, but it worked out well for both of us. You can tell me drinking. Who gets the better part of that deal? Days off on tour. A band like Lamb of God tends to play five or six nights a week when we're on the road because if you're not, they